Hello friends and welcome back to my vlog. So in this video, I'm actually going to take you guys with me making a birthday cake to one of my best friends, Michelle. She's turning 30 years old and me and my friend Katerina is going to make her a creme brulee birthday cake. She loves creme brulee uh, and she's really not like a big cake person. So that's why we're like, she needs a cake because it is her birthday. Everyone should have a cake on their birthday. But then again, we wanted her to have something that she likes and she really likes creme brulee. So then it makes sense to make a creme brulee cake for sure. So yeah, I'll bring you guys with me on step on step after I will also write in what ingredients we use and how to do it. So yeah, I really hope you guys like the movie. First, we're starting with the Graham cracker crust. You just blend everything together here and then press it down firmly in the pan and it's around two inches. Then vanilla cake, this is the ingredients and I'll show you guys all how to do it. First of all, I'm measuring up the flour, making it ready. Here are some of the ingredients that we're going to use for today. Then butter and sugar, this bit well, well, well. Adding both the flour and some sour cream. The sour cream actually makes the cake extra moist. That's a tip. Then more flour. Whisp it well. That's important between every time. And then the egg white. I'm only milk. As you guys can see, it's starting to get really fluffy. It's nice. Then it's 325 degrees Fahrenheit, 30, 35 to 40 minutes. Then it's time to cut up the cake. As you guys can see, we made more because we're making a two layer cake. Then next up is the vanilla buttercream. This one is so fluffy. I love it. And especially with having the whipped cream in it, it makes it extra fluffy. It's first butter, make it super soft. Then adding the powdered sugar, a little bit after a little bit. And then it's really important to whisk it well so it gets super fluffy, as you guys can see here. So nice. Then after that, we're adding the vanilla essence. I add a lot because I like it strong. Then the milk, or now I meant heavy cream. And here we go. It's perfect. So today we actually cheated a little bit and just made the creme brulee out of a package that we need. It's time to decorate the cake. It's really important that you all use a lot of buttercream here because that will make sure that the creme brulee won't spill out of the cake. Then adding the creme brulee, looks so good and it's so yummy. Smooth it out. And then it is time to add the sugar. It's a mix of brown sugar and regular sugar because I heard that makes it nicest. Then it's time to <laughs> burn it, if I can say that way. I'm actually unsure what the name is again, to be honest. Then next layer, we're going to do three layers on this one. Doing the exactly same again with the buttercream. Then the creme brulee. And of course the sugar like where I found a recipe they didn't do the sugar and the burning between but I actually think this it made it really good to have the crunch and then the last one is going on the top we're almost done with one of the cakes and of course buttercream frosting around and after this we put it in the freezer for a couple of hours before we put in together the cake with a little bit of the topping of the sugar flaming it up making it nice and then we're adding the top of the cake because we're making a two-layer cake it was Katrina's actually first time making two-layer cake so she was really excited and then of course more sugar the more sugar the better then we made we dried up some lemons for decoration because Michelle loved lemons. And here you guys go. Isn't it beautiful? I'm really proud of me and Katarina that we did this. I was a little sure for a while, but she's so calm. She made me really calm through the whole experience. I'm normally freaking out. So 
So I figure out me and Katarina are a super good team and I'm so happy we did this together. Hi again. So Michelle really liked the cake, so I'm happy for that. And um, I really hope you all like this movie. So if you liked it, put a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And let me know in a comment if you like to see more movies like this where I'm showing you guys how I bake or whatever. <laughs> Goodbye.